He's just swagging out and capping out at this point. He's just like, come on, come on, what you got, what you got? What you got? If this was baseball, I'd be the cleanup hitter hitting home runs. You'd be the guy on the bench, the pinch runner. You don't even get a bat, motherfucker. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Shakespeare. Keeping it a hundred. Y'all already know how we do here, man. If you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button. Click that post notification bell. Make sure to like, share, and comment down below. Right now, we about to jump into a reaction. We got something special for y'all. Another BTS reaction. I just want to give a big shout out to my subscriber. Leia, I really appreciate the donation and the dono donation request. I wasn't going to get into solo BTS or other projects of BTS until my Cypher series was finished. That being said, this is a donation request. I appreciate you so much. Thank you to the entire army for all the love and support that each and every one of you has shown this channel. So right now we're about to jump into a reaction we got. August D, aka Sugar of BTS, Day Witcher lyrics color coded. Just I know lives are always better from what you guys tell me in the comments, but I wanted to do the color coded just so I can follow along. I think it's super dope. I think it's super crazy that the name of this song is the neighborhood that he grew up in. That right there shows you a lot about August D, Sugar, and BTS as a whole, of how proud they are of where they came from, of how no matter how popular, famous they are, they don't forget their roots, they don't forget where they came from. And so many times when you make money, when you hit certain plateaus, when you skyrocket and you're a star, you forget where you came from. And the fact that Suga dropped a song shouting out his neighborhood, titled his neighborhood, is crazy. Without further ado, hesitation, and all that good stuff. August D, Suga, it's on you. Let's go. Oh, I'm really excited for this. Let's go. Let's go. That's so sick. He's just shouting his neighborhood, play it loud, play it loud. He's telling his neighborhood, he's telling his neighborhood to stand up. Stand the fuck up. Be how we're here. We're here. Stand up. And as always, the beat is lit. The beat is crazy. The beat selection that these guys choose is just crazy. The beat selection is always fire. And I'm just barely into their catalog. And I'm like, every song, including the butter, including butter, was lit. <laughs> Yeah. 
Ah, bring it back. He's spazzing on the beat, man. I love when artists just go crazy and swag out on the beat. He's going in, man. Flow switching. He's lyrical. The bar patterns, the syllable patterns, they're on point, man. And in my reactions, I don't sugarcoat shit. Like, I, I keep this part of my channel. I keep my reactions Call keeping it 100 because I'm keeping it 100. If the artist isn't very good or there's mistakes or there's flaws or there's issues, I'm not afraid to point them out. I don't care about that crap. But, like, these guys shock me. Their flow, cadence, syllable patterns, bar patterns, and delivery are on point, man. Like, they're seasoned. <laughs> Ah, that's the line you guys are talking about, little fucking pill poppers. Y'all miss the fucking chill. Your point of view's perspectives don't mean nothing to me. Keep popping your pills, keep taking your molly, going in the booth, and saying the same word 35 times in a song. Because me, I'm going to eat up this beat, and I'm going to talk talk, and I'm going to spit some bars and lyrics, because I'm a rapper. Y'all just some little popping Y'all just some little pups. Y'all calling me a pup. Yeah. Uh. Can I ask a question? Y'all hit me up. Not all of you, but like three or four of you guys hit me up in the comments saying don't swear. The last two tracks that I've done of BTS, they're swearing it, man. Come on. Come on. He's just swagging out, man. He's just swagging out and capping out at this point. He's just like, come on, come on, what you got? What you got? What you got? If this was baseball, I'd be the cleanup hitter hitting home runs. You'd be the guy on the bench, the pinch runner. You don't even get a bat, motherfucker. This is lit. This is so lit. It's a completely different flow and syllable pattern from the first verse. It's completely different. It's a completely different flow. Facts. Oh, that transition flow switch right there was lit. Like, this is, a, this, this is new age flow. So this is a trap beat. It's very trappy. It's new age. It's a new age. I, I don't know how old this is. I don't care how old it is. I just mean it's the newer generation type of a beat. It's a trap beat. And the flows that he's going with, the cadence and deliveries that he's going with are, they're not generic at all, but like he's showing you like I can do one of many different things. I can hit you with this flow, this flow, this flow. I can flow switch. I can transition. I can hit. Do you know how hard it is to rap in multiple languages in the same verse? Even if it's just a little bit going back and forth. You know how hard that is to keep it on point, to keep it on beat and make sense with your translation of what you're saying. It's so hard. Oh, 
This is so fucking lit, man. Holy shit. Wow. So, so lit. Wow. I'm gonna let this play. Woo! This shit's bass! Wow! There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. August B, a.k.a. Sugar of BTS. Bitch with ta. Lyrics color-coded video. I want to shout out my subscriber. Thank you so much for the generous donation. Mama Merrick, a.k.a. Leah. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Man, what can you say about this that I didn't say in the reaction? <clears throat> the flow switching was crazy. Capping out, swagging out, putting his neighborhood, his city, his block on the map. You know how important and crucial that is? I have a song called I Know Who I Came With. And my song I Know Who I Came With is specifically letting the people that I grew up with, my neighborhood, my area, I won't, I, I haven't forgot you. It's so important. Keep your roots. It keeps your foundation, your pride, gets your city on your back. Like it speaks volumes of sugar. But from what I've read, from what you've been telling me, it's not him. It's the whole group. The whole group are just dope, amazing human beings like that. YouTube, y'all already know what it is, man. Y'all know how we do over here. We keep it 100. I call this part of my channel Shakes P keeping it 100 for a reason. Because everything is 100% genuine. I don't sugarcoat it. I tell you exactly what it is. And I break it down to the average listener as to why I think it's amazing. Why I think it's good. Just so it's not ear candy. Just so it's not appealing. So I can show you a technical aspect of it of why it's wicked. A lot of people can't do what this guy just did in the four minutes of this song. Most people can't flow switch. Most people rhyme the same. Let alone bringing in other languages into it. A lot of people that you hear on the radio don't even write their own music. So for him to wear multiple hats and be able to do this speaks volumes. If you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button, click that post notification bell, make sure to like, share, comment down below, hit me up in the comments, let me know songs, artists, things you want me to react to, I got you, I'll put it on the list, I say this all the time, unlike other YouTube reactors, I read and respond to every comment, you hit me up in the comments, let me know something you want to listen to, want me to react to, I got you, I'll put it on the list, again, I'm also trying to do this full time, I really don't get compensated, I really don't get paid at all for anything I do on YouTube, most of the time, it's either globally blocked, monetization is turned off, that's a block. So if you're interested in helping to support the channel, links are in the description of how you can donate to the channel. We're working on a Patreon channel, uh, a Patreon part of the channel as well. All donations come with a reaction of your choice. It's your boy, Shakespeare. I'm keeping it 100 and I'm out. Peace.